<laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, first, his, her daughter, now Denise Richards, is joining OnlyFans. <laughs> Let's bring producer Chris in to unpack this. One. Oh. Chris, uh, what's, the, what's the deal here? Don't knock it till you try it, Wisdom. Yeah. That's the lesson <laughs> I learned from this. All right. So <laughs> last week we talked about Denise Richards' 18-year-old daughter, Sammy, Signing up for OnlyFans apparently it caused a little family drama. Charlie Sheen, her dad, wasn't too happy about it. Neither was Denise. However, she came back and said her daughter convinced her it was a good idea and she supported her. She supports her so much, apparently, that she liked the idea. She signed up herself. This is video from her Instagram account where she talked about why she was joining. She encouraged her fans to switch over start subscribing to her OnlyFans account. Now she has 1.5 million fans on Instagram. Wisdom, I did a little math. If 1% of those fans switched mm -hmm. over, she charges $25 a month for that subscription. That's a cool $375,000 right there. Right. So if you're looking for the reason why she subscribed, mm -hmm. okay, maybe cash talks. Okay, I, I can see that. I can completely see that. Listen, gas is $5 a gallon. <laughs> the eggs are expensive. The grocery store is expensive. Listen, I cannot knock anyone for getting on OnlyFans or whatever they want to do because, I mean, life is expensive right now. Rent is going up. Seriously, no job shaming. You know, you might see me on there if I can convince my mom that it will be okay. But my mom <laughs> tells me not to bring too. shame to the name, so that okay. probably won't be but my bag. But listen, get to the bag, honey. That's right. And remember, <laughs> you can decide what kind of content you post on there, so it doesn't have to be only X-rated stuff. So, there you go. <laughs> exactly. And I think OnlyFans is trying to encourage people to put other content there that's right. and instead of, you know, with their... It's right. kind of like this no exclusive for. access that you can't get anywhere else. All right, so speaking of daughters, though, Wisdom. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about a former first daughter now, because if you didn't know, Sasha Obama is dating an actor's son. His name is Clifton Powell Jr. Yeah. Now, Clifton Powell, the father, is sharing some of the fatherly advice he shared with his son when it comes to dating such a famous face. In a recent interview, he said he told Clifton Jr. to treat her like you would want anybody to treat your daughter. Clifton says he feels responsible for making sure his son is gentle, kind, loving, and supportive, and wisdom as a dad. What else can you ask for at that point, right? Oh, you can ask for a lot if you're yeah, a dad. Maybe oh, yeah, I got a not list. Not even <laughs> let them date her? Yeah, well, you, well here's, you know, they're going to date, but you can try to have standards. At some point, they're going to push back against all that. But I can, I can see how you, I can understand where he's coming from. I can understand that. Yeah, yeah I think that's the advice you'd want as a... If I was her, I would want the dad of my boyfriend to be like, treat her right. I mean, I wish I had that when I was in high school or college to have... The boyfriend's dad. dad. Yeah, yeah, saying like, hey, treat her well. I also don't think you want to be the guy that breaks the former first daughter's no. heart, you know? So. No, not at all. No, you don't. And he doesn't want Clifton Powell to turn into Pinky from Friday. Right, That's what right. he was playing on Friday. Yeah, right. He doesn't want him to go back to those roles yeah, where he had on a pink seat, right. suit, yeah, and the, and the jerry that. curl. Yeah, yeah, you don't want those problems, so he better treat her right. Did you, did you when y'all were dating, did, so did your... My dad. Did your dad say anything to you? Any dad say anything to you guys? Uh, I, my dad would have conversations with my boyfriend. Yeah. Um, in his room where he keeps his guns in the... Yeah, oh, yeah, <laughs> the, I'm very familiar. In the glass uh -huh. case. Right. Even, Come on in here, let, yeah. let me talk uh, to you, have a right. conversation. So, I mean, yeah. the atmosphere kind of set the vibe, and yeah. he kind of knew from there. And if not, I would be like, I'm calling, I'm telling my daddy on you. Okay, <laughs> all right, okay. Yeah, well, I don't even let him come in my house. Oh, yeah. No, there you, you go. Can't come in my house. You can't oh, even come man. to my house. I feel bad no, for the girls. No. You can pull up to the driveway, and then you can, I can look at you, and you, as you drive by, but you can't no. come in there. Is he supposed to knock on the door? No, no, no. Don't, don't, introduce don't, no. himself? Don't come in my driveway. No. How is he oh, supposed to? God. What if he wants to come over and meet you and no, introduce himself? No, 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 no. no my, my oldest daughter, she's in college. She can do that in college. Don't bring that to my house. <laughs> I can't stop you when you're in college, but right now, my oh. house. I'm so sorry. I'm just saying. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you, friends. Thank you for Thank coming. Thank you for in. sharing. Oh, I love hearing about the BHU. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. All right.